everybody, I'm Heidi from Heavenly Minded Homemaker, Heavenly Minded Homeschool, any combination thereof, and welcome to our channel. Today is day one of a new series that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be working through the rest of the month to kind of learn the steps and implement the system, and then next month we'll dive into bringing in the kids and kind of some more detail and things like that. But we are looking at the fly lady system and we are looking at it with a minimalist minded and biblically focused approach. So this is a system I shared an intro video. It was kind of long because <laughs> my friend and I were chatting about it. So if you didn't get an opportunity to watch the intro video, I will link it down in the description box. So make sure you go and watch that as well. Um, we're just kind of chit chatting about it um, a little bit more in depth. So especially if you're new and you've never heard of it before, you don't know what we're talking about. You think we're crazy. That might give you a little more information to hopefully help. Um, but today is day one. And so for the next few weeks, what we're going to do is every day we are going to bring in a little, a little piece of it. Fly Lady calls them baby steps. Um, in the Fly Lady system, they say it's to help you cure chaos. Chaos standing for can't have anyone over syndrome <laughs> because things are out of control and it's just too much and you're not organized and the house is a disaster and everything's crazy and wonky and you're always behind on something. Let's clear that up. And for me, I love their system. I used it 16 years ago when I found myself a, a wife and a mom when I was still a teenager. We had a home and, and it was just so much and I didn't know what to do. And I found this system and it really did help. And over the years, although I wasn't focused on it, it, it's amazing to me how much of that really was ingrained in me after using it for so long. And, and I just naturally did these things. And so I am taking this opportunity to kind of give myself a fly lady reboot where I have done it and I know the system, but I've kind of fallen off and there's some things that I don't do. And I can just tell now with my kids getting older, we're kind of moving into a new season of life and I need to, to fine tune these things so that the the home keeper aspect of my life can be a little more streamlined and put together so that I can be more efficient and more diligent. And the other things I'm doing, like serving my husband with our ministry and, and homeschool and different things like that. So that is what we're doing here. I um, do want to take the system though. You can go to Fly Lady's website, which again, highly recommend. They're amazing. But I think the more and more minimalist I have become, the more and more when I went to the website, I went, oh my goodness. This is too much. I need to streamline this. My kids need me. Hold, please. So in looking at all of this stuff and kind of going back to it with them, I, I've become more and more minimalist over the years. And honestly, looking at it, I'm like, okay, I know that this works and I totally believe in it, but I know I need a much more simplified version to do this. And I've got to have a biblical foundation because if we are not being intentional with focusing our priorities in every aspect of our lives. Yes. Even down to something like cleaning our house. If we are not focusing the aspect of everything back to God and his word and looking for the soon return of Christ, then, then what are we doing? It, it's worthless and you might as well not do anything. So, um, I want to start today with day one with a simple little baby step. So be sure you subscribe, tap that little bell icon. That way you'll get the notification each day when new videos come out. Um, and Monday through Saturday, we'll have a little video coming out, kind of talking about the, the topic and the point of focus for the day, as far as the, um, you know, kind of building this, this foundation for the system here and putting everything together. And then, um, next month we'll start, um, working in a couple other things. Okay. So today's topics are shine your sink and prayer. This is what we're going to focus on today. So, um, shining your sink is like, a, it's a big deal when it comes to fly lady. Any of you who have done fly lady before, you know, shining your sink is like seriously a big deal. Um, and I think at first, and you might even have the impression that that's like kind of cheesy or weird or like number one, what is shining your sink? Number two, like, why does that matter? That sounds like you're telling me my house is a mess. Everything's a disaster. And I need to make sure that I clean out and wipe down my sink. And that's going to make all the difference. You guys, it is. <laughs> it really, really, really is. Um, and I was kind of laughing because when I was looking at fly ladies, baby steps, cause fly lady has like 31 baby steps. And I kind of went through them and I'm like, eh, there was like 
15 or so of them that I was like, let's really focus on those. And you can go pull up the rest of them. But um, these are the ones that kind of we're going to focus on. And, and then, of course, I've added in a, you know, kind of simplified view to it and then a biblical foundation with it. Um, and it made me laugh because, guys, we are living in our 16th home. It is our 16th wedding anniversary this Tuesday, May 12th. And this is our 16th home that we've lived in starting from Southern California out here now to North Carolina. And, um, when I first started using Flight Lady, they're in our first little apartment in Southern California in our hometown. I, to this day, like can vividly remember shining my sink. I remember finding Fly Lady and signing up for the emails and reading all the things and being like, hey, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm now 18 years old. We have our first apartment. I'm trying to raise a kid, like keep it alive and be a wife. And I don't know how to do any of these things. And it said to go shine your sink. And I said, okay. And so I read the instructions of what to do and I did it. And I can vividly remember that. And that has been one habit that I threw out the past 16 years have nearly always stuck to. And it makes a difference. It makes such a difference. So the point of shining your sink every night is let's be for real. The heart of the home is the kitchen for any home. Um, even if you don't cook from scratch and do all of those things, the heart of the home is the kitchen. That's where everything kind of comes back to. And so for us, so much of the things that we need to accomplish has to do with the kitchen sink in some way, shape or form, um, be it, you know, cooking, washing, cleaning, any of the things you have to use the kitchen sink. Um, and if you don't think you use the kitchen sink that much, take the kitchen sink out of working order for a while and see how quickly things fall apart, right? Any of us that have done like home remodel or anything like that, or you have plumbing problems, something happens to the kitchen. It, it just, it's, it's a disaster. So the point was that if we, can focus on this one simple task of keeping the kitchen sink cleaned out, wiped down, shining our sink, that it really does have a great impact. And it's like that snowball effect. You take care of one little thing and then tomorrow you take care of one more little thing and then one more and one more and you start to gain some momentum in that. Um, and so today what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to shine our sink. I have not done any of these things ahead of time. So I'm going to do all of this stuff right along with you guys. Um, and my sink is a disaster and I've purposely not touched it today. So that way I could record it and show you guys. So today what we're going to do is we're going to empty everything out of our sink. If you have a bunch of knickknacks, whatever you have, a bunch of dishes in it, get everything out of your sink. Um, Fly Lady says on our website to just set everything like on the counter and don't even mess with it right now. I'm kind of one of those I try to think about how many times I'm touching something. So if I'm picking up dishes just to set it over on the counter, I can just as easily set it in the dishwasher. <laughs> it's like for me, we just ate my Mother's Day lunch. So I have a bunch of dishes in my sink. I'm going to set them into the dishwasher. And that's what I would recommend. But if you're overwhelmed and you have way too much, then okay, just set it on the counter. But we're going to go out and we are going to empty everything out of and off of our sink soap dispensers, lotion, knickknacks, bottles, whatever there is, get rid of everything off of your sink. And then we are going to clean it. Um, one way to do it with Fly Lady is to stop up both of your, or your drains, however many you have, if you have a one or two bowl sink, fill it up with hot water, put a little bleach or cleaner or something in it, let it sit for a while, then drain out the water and scrub it down really well. So the point with shining our sink is we want to scrub it down really well. So get it nice and clean so you don't have food particles or nastiness, anything smudged up on there. We want to get it cleaned. And then we want to take a dry towel and we want to shine it. We want to take a dry towel. You can even spray a little bit of like window cleaner or something on it. And we want to wipe it down really, really well. So it's nice and super like droplet free, super shiny, looks brand new. And these things that we do every day here for the next week, next few weeks, we're going to build upon those. So Starting today from here on out, every day we're going to be shining our sink. I do it throughout the day whenever I go and I'm doing, you know, after a meal, usually I kind of, we all kind of, me and the kids, we kind of work together to get everything back to ready before we move on to a new activity. And so the last thing I do is at the sink, once all the dishes get in, I rinse everything off real good. And then I take my towel and I dry it all up. So I have a nice shiny sink looking back at me. And I'm telling you, you guys trust the system because they might seem like little things, but they are going to build up and they are going to become very impactful with just these little intentional changes that we're going to be making and creating routines and habits out of here in the next few weeks. So 
day one, we're going to shine our sink. And that's what I am going to go out and do here in just a minute. But before we do that, I want to talk about the biblical focus that is the bigger foundational block that we're building under this, right? We can teach you how to keep your house clean, how to organize, how to deal with laundry, how to deal with all of the things. But if your foundation is not set and built firmly on the Lord, all of that will crumble and none of it will matter. So we always want to be looking at that foundational block of growing in our biblical literacy and our spiritual maturity. Okay. And so I was thinking about a few different areas that I thought were super important to hit on. And every other day we are going to add one more piece to that block and continue to build upon it. Just like we are with these simple fly lady steps. So like today was shining our sink. You're going to do that today. And then tomorrow, every day you're going to keep up with that. It's just a little simple, intentional thing you're going to do. It's going to take you not even a full minute. And every day we're going to build upon it. Same thing like with the spiritual focus here. Today, we're going to start with one thing and then tomorrow you're going to keep doing that. And then day after tomorrow, we're going to add one more thing. And we're just going to keep doing a little bit, just these little tiny intentional tweaks that we're going to make throughout our day that are going to have a big impact. And that's what I think is so cool about this whole system and way of going about it is that it's really simple. <laughs> it's almost like too good to be true simple. It's just tiny little tweaks that we're going to do to help fine tune this. So today's focus for that is going to be prayer. How much time do you spend in prayer? Do you go to the Lord in prayer when you're stressed, when you're overwhelmed, when you're sad, when you're angry, when you're frustrated? Hold, please. So how much time do we spend in prayer? Do we go to the Lord and, and talk to him? Do we go to him with our troubles, with our burdens, with our difficulties, with our frustrations? Do we humble ourselves before him and give it all to him? So I want to encourage us today kind of just to think about that topic in general, right? Go to scripture, even go to your concordance, look at the word prayer, read some scriptures, look at it. Is that an area that you struggle with, that you have a hard time with? You can leave a comment below. You can message me directly. If there's something we can do to serve you in that way, we're happy to do so. Um, but I want I want us to, to think about that. And so if we're going to be shining our sink each day, I also want us the moment our eyeballs open in the morning, I want us to pray. Okay. So obviously it's a little past that time when you're seeing this today. So when we're done here, stop and pray. But starting tomorrow, I want you, as soon as your eyeballs open, before you do anything, just pray. Lord, give me guidance today. Convict me where I need to be convicted. Lord, plant my foot on the narrow path that I can be striving to walk in your ways. Help me to truly understand your word and to understand what being a follower of Christ actually looks like. Um, I want that. I want us to pray for our children, for our spouse, for friends and family, you know, whoever you have in your life. But let's make sure that we are being intentional about making sure that every day, not only are we shining our sink, but we're kind of doing some shining of our heart by making sure that we are in prayer with communicating with the Lord every single day. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to shine my sink for the first time. I haven't done it in a very long time, so it's a mess right now. Um, you're going to go spend some time in prayer. And then tomorrow we will move on to the next activity. Um, but so far, day one, this is what we're doing. We're starting off with shining our sink, and it will make a big impact. And then the second little note I want to add in real quick before I do that is if you find these later on, if you end up missing a few days, you get off track, somebody gets sick, whatever, whatever may happen, it's all good, guys. You just jump back in where you're at. That's the whole thing with Fly Lady. There's no big mounting pressure. There's no, well, you got to catch up. Just, just jump in where you're at and it's all going to be okay. And we'll get into it soon, but Fly Lady breaks up. They have zones and missions and, and different things like that. And we're going to totally simplify all of that and give you nice little bite-sized pieces. But right now, guys, let's just focus on these little baby steps to get us going, okay? And in each day, we're going to kind of add a little bit more and a little bit more. I promise you, you can do it. I promise you, you can because... You can. I've seen it happen. I've seen this work for so many people. So it's going to work for you. We got this. Okay. Let's go out and shine my dirty, disgusting sink. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys, here is my sink. We've got a whole, whole mess of things going on. So I am just focusing right now on this area here. So I've got a sad little plant from clearance that I'm trying desperately to save. It's not going so well. 
And then I've got, you know, a paintbrush and a cup that's just been sitting here because I never got back to packets. A medicine cup, the baby's old cup that we found under her bed when we moved it yesterday. This is stuff from breakfast and different things that need to go out to the chickens. Tea kettle, old rag, a bunch of dishes, uh, various various different things. We won't even get into any of this today right now. We're just focusing on, on the sink. So step one is I'm going to get everything cleared out of here. Like I said, if you're overwhelmed and you just need to get started, you can take the stuff off and just set it off to the side. I am, if I'm taking it out and setting it off anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take it out and like put it down into the dishwasher. So that's what I'm going to do. Step one. So now at least I have a completely empty sink. Hold on, baby. You saw a Chi Chi? Yeah? That's exciting. Um, so I don't usually put sink stoppers in here. I don't use them. So I can only find one. <laughs> I don't know where my other one is. So I'm going to do one sink at a time. But I'm going to go ahead and put the sink stopper in, put a little bit of soap in here, um, and probably, and then fill it up with hot water. And I'm going to fill it all the way up with like the water as hot as it'll go. And just let that sit for a little while. And then I'll go ahead and swap and do the other side. But I'm going to do that um, for the first round of just really letting all of the the yuckiness kind of just soak for a minute with the hot water and a little bit of soap. And then once it drains out, I'm going to sprinkle. I love to do like a little bit of baking soda and then I can take a microfiber cloth, kind of scrub it up real good. And that will be my scrub part of the shining my sink. guys look how much better that is already so soaked it with the water as hot as it would go filled it up with just some dish soap let it sit for a few minutes then scrubbed it down did both sides of that and then once that had gone through and I'd scrubbed it out I just sprinkled some cheap baking soda in there um, and scrub that with the microfiber cloth just to get a really good one. Make sure you spend time and like the spout areas around the handles and the base and scrub that stuff really well. If you have a toothbrush or something like that, you can even get in there and scrub that really, really well. So now everything is nice and super clean. I even wiped down like the backsplash right there in a little bit. Make sure you go around the edges real well. Or if you have like an underlaid um, sink at, you know, the creases and edges, just all the places that you normally don't get to. I got and make sure you get like in here and the rings and stuff and even down into the drain any of the little grimy collection spots make sure you get that scrubbed really super well now that everything is clean I even pulled out like the spout and make sure I wiped it off really well now that everything is clean I've got some Mrs. Myers. It just smells good in here, um, here in my little Grove Collaborative bottle. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that in here and then take a dry cloth now and now I'm shining. guys that is a freshly shined sink look how nice so we don't have to look over here right now we're just looking here 
Look how nice this is. Even if over here looks like this, nope, nope, nope. Look at this. This is what, Travis, this is how moms do it. Don't look over there. Don't no, all of that, we're not, we're, that's not today. Day one, we're right here. Guys, this is the shiny sink. The only things I am putting back, and I wipe them down with the dry cloth so they're nice, I like to have lotion and obviously our soap. Hello, galloping baby. So, nice shined up sink. That's all that needs to be there. Every day, you guys. When I do it, every time I come in here and we load up the dishes, because as we eat, we just take them when we're done with the meal and they get put in the dishwasher, rinse out the sink. Every day, you don't have to go super in depth in depth and scrub it down like we just did. Every day we can just wipe it down. I usually just use a microfiber cloth to wipe it down each day. And then after we wipe it down every day, especially every night, even if you only do it once a day and you only do it at night, load up all the dishes, get everything emptied out, wipe it down with a nice hot rag, like a microfiber cloth or something, and then take a dry cloth and shine it. Look at that sparkly you can see the reflection of my camera <laughs> nice and sparkly how beautiful that is so this is day one this is our goal with our shiny sink so if you get to accomplish nothing else today it's okay because you are going to go to bed tonight with a shiny sink staring back at you which means when you wake up in the morning guess what you get to see a nice shiny sink and because you are going to be dutiful in prayer. So that is making sure that throughout the day you're praying. When you get overwhelmed, when you get frustrated, when kids are acting a fool, when chaos has just got you overwhelmed, what are you going to do? You're going to pray about it. You're going to say, Lord, help me. Get me through this. Give me the strength. Give me the grace. Give me whatever it is that you know I need in this situation. And tomorrow morning, as soon as your eyeballs open, you're going to pray. Even if it's just, good morning, Lord. Help me today. I love you. That's what we're going to do, okay? So today, you're going to deep clean, deep scrub your sink, and then you're going to shine it up super nice. And then tomorrow, you're going to continue to do the same. But again, remember, you don't have to do the deep clean every day. Each day, now it's just kind of a wipe out and a shine. But this first one here, deep clean, get it super scrubbed out, looking nice and shiny. And now, that's it. That's all we're working on today. Go enjoy your day. Have fun with your kids. Go outside. Go for a walk. Do something. Read a book. But enjoy the rest of your day because look at that. We just clicked off day one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.